Hey guys. So today we're here at one of the houses and we are doing some parging. You can see by look at all the mess all the way around because this this roof of course as you've seen in my other videos has very large ice dams and the ice dams of course melt and all this area here gets saturated. You can see that this is a concrete block and it is you can see they put on an original scratch coat you can see the waves and so they troweled this on and then they put on a second material but then there's something over top of that you can see there's another layer right there so there's concrete block you can see right there and then they purged it once twice and then in some cases three times so lots of layers falling off unfortunately the only way to be able to remove it again we've got the grinder we've got the masonry blade on there but also we have the screwdriver so the screwdriver and a hammer is able to remove things because you can't keep it all on there so again chipping off the bad material get things down to a nice solid base again you can see there's you know what are you gonna do you know house is 50 years old so you can do some major repairs again the downspout just is not helping of course and you can see it still has to be attached properly so the front of this house has a big stone face to the front of it and you can see the parging of course looks accordingly so you can see leaks and so on else and you can see the seam is not actually here it's on the back side and the only problem is when it freezes when all this you can see this plug goes all the way down and it goes inside there's a heater inside here so that goes all the way to the top and keeps the ice dams from uh, you know keeps all this from freezing melting breaking but again also we have significant cracks that go this way this way you can see they go up in this direction here they even go in this direction here can you see the, the crack that goes all the way down here and that's all having to do with water so you can just see them even on a white building you can see them there's nothing I can do about it again it's cracked it right through there all the way to here and you can see this is the chimney that of course I fixed the soffit on all of that rot that was up there in the other videos but again this has been painted many 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 times and again we caulk in the corners to be able to try and keep it in basically in good shape but again a house that's been painted so many times it's very very difficult again the cracking filled in with caulking unfortunately so let's take a look at the parge coat so again I'm not an Italian mason but again this area here this has to be done. This is only my first coat, and again, I'm going to slather some more on it. But again, you can hear that sound. That sound is really nice and tight, bonded. No hollowness. You don't want any hollowness in behind because, again, it's going to cause a problem. So, walking around to this side, my left hand, of course, trying to be able to shake. Sorry, guys. But again, we have exterior lighting. We've tried to peel off as much of the paint as possible, but again, peely. We take the angle grinder and the masonry blade and try to be able to remove as much blistering as possible. This is all from that water, all from the ice dams that come down. And so, of course, that downspout, of course, is going to be a reattach. You can see it's just over there. It has to be attached. And the ice cable, of course, which is just dangling over here at the moment. So, again, coming through here listen to this let me move the trim clad my favorite listen to this guys nice and solid right by this crack so again digging it out again with the hammer but again the cracks go all the way up the building so it goes pretty much up to there so again water and so on but uh, we're going to grind it down fill in the bore the worst of it reparge it 
and repaint it. Make it look white, try to keep the water away, try to keep those ice ca cables working. If we have to use more, we will. But uh, that's cementing, basically. Cement parging, we use a simple trowel. And uh, let me see, my trowel, the hoard, let me just see. I have it, it's in buckets and so on else. That's okay, you know how to be able to do that. So putting it on with the margin trowel, you can see parge mix. Just a regular, it's actually called parge mix. So it's made by Momix. And uh, you simply just use it, put it in there. Oh, the latex additive, let me show you something. The latex, where's, oh, I think I left it in the trailer overnight. Look at this. You want cement to stick properly? Let's go to the English. Oh, there's no English. Again, we're at Rona. So again, concrete adhesive. This is excellent stuff. You can be able to paint it on, brush it on, and mix it right in. You literally put it right in. So again, you would put in a blob, and again, put a couple of spoonfuls of that into there, spoonfuls in, mix it up again, just with regular water, and uh, it'll be fantastic. So it'll really stick good. I've even taken it and painted some of this white latex additive right onto the surface itself rather than just wetting it with a brush because you have to use a stucco brush wet the surface first because again the new stuff will drink into the old surface even though there's paint and other things on it the latex additive really helps out so all right then enough rambling it's one of my longer videos guys just because again i want to teach you guys this is my channel sand 379 let's go and do some parging see you guys